soon. The entertainment world still buzzing after last night's Academy Awards. A couple of films stood out as the big winners, most notably Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, which took home seven awards, including Best Picture, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor, and Supporting Actress. Other big storylines included a major career comeback for this year's Best Actor, plus how did they address last year's slap? Eyewitness News Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon has it all covered for us live from Hollywood. Good morning to you, Sandy. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Shirlene. I think history was made uh, last night more than once. Uh, first, that demarcation, that new type of movie so popular with younger viewers. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Bit of a generation gap there, as we've been saying. Younger viewers love it. Older viewers, not so much. It prevailed. And also made history for Michelle Yeoh, the first Asian performer ever to win lead actress in the 95 years of Oscar. Other than that, things went pretty much as expected. Everything, everywhere, all at once. It didn't win everything, but the offbeat film that became a big hit captured the hearts of enough Oscar voters to earn the top prize of Best Picture. One of the best things we can do for each other is shelter each other from the chaos of this crazy world we live in. The rest of the show was back to business as usual. Host Jimmy Kimmel got a few laughs from referencing last year's controversy. Five Irish actors are nominated tonight, which means the odds of another fight on stage just went way up. <laughs> This was before the first performer of the night picked up an Oscar. Kiwi Kwan. Kiwi Kwan was the heavy favorite going in, and the former child actor completed his comeback on the stage of the Dolby Theater. Please keep your dreams alive, Jamie Lee. The crowd cheered for one of its own when a child of Hollywood stars Jamie Lee Curtis won her first Oscar in a long career. My mother and my father were both nominated for Oscars in different categories. I just won an Oscar. Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser had won at previous award shows, and as predicted, he won the Oscar, his first for a comeback role playing the whale. Thank you again, each one and all. Michelle Yeoh. Oscar voters determined Michelle Yeoh gave the best performance by an actress in a leading role for traveling across the multiverse in a story of a mother's reconciliation with her daughter. I have to dedicate this to my mom, all the moms in the world. Among the performers singing the tunes nominated for best song, Rihanna reigned supreme. Rihanna was great, and also Lady Gaga just killing it. This was one of the most moving performances I've seen. Well, since she sang with Bradley Cooper, she was stripped down, no makeup, very basic instrumentation, and just killing it, both of them. But neither performance was for the winner of Best Song. That was Natu, Natu from RRR, and that was a heavy favorite in this Dolby Theater. Lots of cheers for that when that won Best Song. Reporting live from the Dolby Theater, which they're kind of disassembling the area right here, <laughs> right now. I'm Sandy Kitchen, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. We go back to Michelle and Shirley. <laughs>